As Russia's cruelty deepens, the resolve of this contact group grows. And that's clear from the announcements that we've heard today. And I'll start with air defense. Several countries have come forward with key donations that will help protect Ukraine's skies and cities and citizens. And France and Germany and the UK have all donated air defense systems to Ukraine. And that includes a, patri a Patriot battery from Germany. And that's especially important coming alongside our own contribution of a Patriot system. And the Netherlands is also donating uh, Patriot missiles and launchers and training. And meanwhile, Canada has procured a NASAM system and associated munitions for Ukraine. And so these air defense systems will help save countless innocent lives. We're also pushing hard to meet Ukraine's requirements for tanks and other armored vehicles. The UK has announced a significant donation of Challenger 2 tanks for Ukraine. And this is the first introduction of Western main battle tanks into Ukraine. And I also commend our British allies for, for making this decision. And Sweden announced it's donating CB-90 infantry fighting vehicles and an additional donation soon of Archer howitzers. We've also heard inspiring and important new donation announcements from several other countries, and, and that includes Denmark, which will donate 19 howitzers. And Latvia is donating more stingers and helicopters and other equipment. And Estonia is providing Ukraine with a significant new package of much-needed 155-millimeter howitzers and munitions. Now, all of today's announcements are, are direct results of our work at the contact group. And these important new commitments demonstrate the ongoing resolve of our allies and partners to help Ukraine defend itself. Because this isn't just about Ukraine's security, it's also about European security, and it's about global security. It's about the kind of world that we want to live in. And it's about the world that we want our children and grandchildren to inherit. The members of this contact group are standing up for a world where, where rules matter, and where rights matter, and where sovereignty is respected, and where people can choose their own path, free from tyranny and aggression. And I'm confident that this group will remain united, and we'll continue to build momentum, we'll support Ukraine against Russian aggression for the long haul, and we'll continue to work toward a free and secure Ukraine in a stable and decent world.